So your Android applications will now be able to leverage this untapped market with this particular solution. And essentially, you know, you'll be able to capitalize on this uh, particular market and take, uh, take advantage uh, of this untapped potential. Our uh, operator billing uh, solution today is uh, deployed, uh, is available in over 160 operators, over 60 countries, and it's expected to grow as well. The key point here again is you have Android applications. These markets today are untapped. If you use our solutions, you'll be able to make more effective monetization of this as well. And here we have the Nokia X developer event. All these developers are so right now, since yesterday, working on porting their Android apps. Basically editing out the Google services and putting in the Nokia services instead on Android. And there's a porting porting questions around here. Is it hard or easy or? Uh, the questions kind of vary back and forth, but you know, it's just first one to buzz in, get a chance to win, and then they get to spin this wheel. And what you do with this wheel is there's all kinds of cool prizes. And it's really promoting our develop platform, right, where a lot of our awards and gamification is for developers. So when you spin this wheel, we have things like products on here. We also have like Xbox One. Is it Xbox One? Yeah, Xbox One. How about the, how about the, the, the phone? Uh, All the, the developers yeah. have it already. 1020 is there. Uh, what about the X? The X is not on here, but... Not yet. What you can do, you take your XP points within develop, go and it'll be available through the rewards catalog on the develop nice. platform. Nice. You can get them that way. Cool. Everything here is X? Um, no, we've got all the other products out here as well, so you've got okay. everything for the Windows Suite and as well. Okay, thanks. Cheers, man. Also very, very, very nifty. That we are providing uh, both ARM and x86 imagery. So uh, if you have an Intel processor, uh, the hardware acceleration for virtualization works. So the emulator is very, very fast. So you don't need to you know, wait a minute. It's going to be coming up any minute now. So this is this is super, super fast. That's that's something that I was missing for a long time. And of course, you can you know it has 512 megs of RAM and all that. So you can, of course, use the GPU as well. Since I have already one created, I'm just going to actually start that one. So you see what happens here. Let's do it. 
So actually it should say here, if you're looking carefully enough, let's see whether it, we can catch Axam launching. And oops, 